Welcome to the Fives, all-inclusive beach resort in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Today we're going to head to La Brasserie Bistro for the buffet breakfast and I'm going to show you what options they have. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Fives in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Just for context, we have a map here. This is a map of the Fives. I'm going to circle this section right here. Now this is the plaza area. La Brasserie is one of many eateries in the plaza area. Here's where we're going to start our walk. Let's go. So after you get to the plaza, you'll see this crazy wall with the crazy chandelier. We'll see a sign on the wall here that says Brasserie Restaurant up. We'll head around the corner here. We'll see one more sign that says La Brasserie Bistro Cuisine first floor. We'll head up. There is the sign. You've come to the right place. We'll head in the door. Just going to give you a nice view of the room. So there is the eating inside, but there's also some eating outside. And there it is right there. Got some nice artwork from the French Latin Quarter in Paris. Got a bunch of wine bottles there. It's got a nice French elegant vibe about it. Nice chandeliers. They've got these nice red drapes here with the nice lighting also. I'll give you one more shot here. So either you can be in a booth seating or there's table seating in the middle there or like I said there's also some seating outside but there's limited seating outside there is the outside it's just kind of a long strip but if you are outside you'll be able to oversee the cenote right there and you can kind of see part way into the plaza area and it's quieter outside nice French kind of flooring right there we're gonna walk down I just want to give you the kind of French elegant vibe and you'll see La Brasserie on the doors right here. Okay let's get to the food here. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough so you can see all the food options. I believe that this is the best breakfast buffet option at the Fives. So that's my opinion. I'll probably do another couple breakfast restaurants in the next few days just so you can see what they have to offer and maybe you like those restaurants better but um, I'm just gonna talk over as I show you the food here now some of this food looks like it's been picked over this is probably 9 30 in the morning it opened at 7 a.m. so I will say one t uh, one point here is we're coming in probably at the busiest time in the morning and sometimes there's been a wait you know we've been here for a couple weeks so the odd day there's a bit of a wait so if you want to get in here and seated quickly make sure you get here earlier to avoid the lineups now often in the background you hear some French jazz music um, I've had to put some music in the background here just for copyright stuff if you do have children there are high chairs available now this is a breakfast buffet this La Brasserie also has food here for lunch and dinner, but it's a la carte. So the breakfast is buffet, but the other two meals are a la carte. Now they do switch up the food every day. For example, one day they might have hash browns, the next day they might have mashed potatoes, the next day they might have wedges, uh, potatoes. So they kind of are always switching things up. But I will say this, their bacon is good. It's there every day. Sausages are good, but they do kind of switch things up every day. The seating outside, uh, if you want to sit out there, often entails a bit of a wait because there's fewer tables out there. So if you want to be seated quickly, inside's a better option. But if you want it to be a little bit quieter and you want to overlook the cenote, then you might want to sit outside. But the wait is often longer to get to the outside seating. I will say the wait staff are very friendly, they're very quick, and the procedure is, number one, you come in the doors, you line up if there's a line, you tell them how many people, whether you want to be inside or outside, and then you kind of stand off to the side, 
The hostess then will tell you when your table is ready. She'll take you to the table and then you'll sit there and a waiter will come around quickly and you'll just say, what do you want to have? Do you want to have water? Do you want to have juices? Um, do you want a mimosa? What do you want to drink? And then you'll get up, grab a dish and then go through the options for the food here. We're gonna stop at the omelet station here for a second and uh, this is how it works. I guess you just point to what you want in your omelet. This guy will pull it out and he's heating up so she's gonna point to what she wants in her omelet. He's gonna put it in a section. He's warming it all up. I like to have eggs every morning. The first few days we came in here they had hard-boiled eggs they had scrambled eggs. I thought that the scrambled eggs had a little bit too much cream in it for me, so I wanted to come over here. Sometimes it takes a little bit of a lineup to uh, get what you want, but it's tailor-made, it's specific to what you want, and if you want a little bit extra chorizo, or you want some more peppers, or onions, or mushrooms, etc., you just tell him and he's going to, so he's putting it off to the side right here and he's heating up all the stuff that's going to be inside the omelette. So he, this guy is very fast. Uh, he's got four going at a time. So he is now stirring up all the eggs and I think basically it's about two eggs per every ladle. So you can, like if you like having two eggs every morning or an egg or three eggs, maybe you can have them do a little bit more or do two omelets, whatever, but I think each of those ladles is roughly two eggs worth. Now it just so happens everybody's getting an omelet here. You don't have to just get an omelet, you can get a fried egg or uh, two or five fried eggs, however, and you and he'll do them for you right here, fresh. I just liked uh, that the, it was fresh. Number two, I could have what I wanted in it. Uh, I could have the cheese that I wanted in it. And um, you're gonna see he's gonna put salt on all of them and then pepper on all of them. And then he'll ask you if you want the queso. That's the cheese. Um, so if you're looking for a little bit more protein or you're looking for a little bit more vegetables. And the other thing is it's hot and it's tailor-made. So he's gonna pop these on here. This is mine coming up. Um, the other thing is if you have any questions about the fives, pop them in the comment section. I'll get back to you. We're here for a little bit longer. So if there's any specific questions about a certain restaurant. So there he's putting the cheese on now. And if you want more cheese or less cheese or no cheese, it's uh, made to your liking. And like I said, if you have any questions about the fives, Pop in the comment section. I'll get back to you in the next couple days. Flip them over. Pops them on your plate, and then if you want to go get, like I said, some more meat or protein or vegetables, or you want some cereal, away you go. Or if that's all you want for breakfast, then be on your way. So there's my plate. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna ski daddle. I'm gonna show you a little bit more of the food options. So you got your bagels, plenty of dishes underneath the serving areas, oatmeal, add-ons for your French toast if you want to put any of that peanut butter, honey, jelly, gluten-free. There's another view of the room. It's pretty busy right now. Like I said, we got there at 9.30 most mornings and it was buzzing. Sometimes you have to wait and uh, the workers in there, they're awesome. If they've run out of bacon, you just go, hey, where'd the bacon at? They'd go get some. Got plenty of fruit, looks pretty good. And uh, I guess the next thing is talk a little bit about the drinks. You got your juices, assorted juices, tea and coffee. And they're making drinks all day, every day. However specific you want to be about your drink, lots of vodka. Very little vodka, chocolate martinis. I want a lot of chocolate or a little chocolate. 
whatever you want. They take the order, they give you what you want, and they do it well. Um, and like I said, they're smiling, having a good time, very positive. Hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now.